Hello and welcome once more to the Keithley Power Supply channel. What I would like to do in this video is just to tie up some loose ends on the Keithley Power Supply here. On my last video I had a very helpful comment which pointed me in the right direction and now all the questions I had regarding the way the power supply can achieve its stability are resolved. As you may remember from my previous videos, the way this power supply generates its set point voltage is by using the PWM from the microcontroller and that basically goes through a filter straight into the control circuitry. And my concerns were that this relies heavily on the stability of the supply to those buffers that are in that PWM line and I really couldn't figure out how this power supply could meet its very good accuracy specs. Now in part due to um, a bit of carelessness from my side and also due to some rather bad luck in probing on the power supply I made the assumption that those buffers that are in the path of the PWM signal are powered from the normal 3.3 volt supply that also supplies the microcontroller. So for example if you had this 3.3 volt regulator here powering the microcontroller and I assumed because I had measured 3.3 volt on the PWM that this would also power the buffers in the way of the PWM. Now it turns out that hiding amongst all the components in the power supply you have those tiny little SOT23 packages here which are in fact REF3000 series um, reference voltage generators. And these are what in fact powers the buffers down here. So the buffers are in fact powered from a very well regulated power supply. The reason why I didn't find that is because I was probing on channel 3 down here and on this channel the reference voltage is 3.3 volt as well, just as the normal power supply. So I assumed that this was coming from the normal power supply and didn't really look for a reference generator because, you know, 3.3 volt seemed like a normal enough power supply voltage. Um, for the other two channels, for channel 1 and 2, that reference voltage is actually 2.5 volts. So if I had measured any of those two channels here, I would have actually found that more easily, I hope, because I would have measured 2.5 volts rather than 3.3. But as I said, that's probably more down to not being careful enough and also a bit of bad luck rather than anything else. So yeah, it turns out that this power supply does actually generate its set point from a proper reference voltage and that everything is fine and that this is how it meets its accuracy specs. Um, Apologies for the third video on this power supply within a short amount of time, but I really just want to get this cleared up and Hopefully in the near future. I'll have some more interesting videos on different topics. So thank you very much